Hey guys, um, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a film I saw a while ago. Now most of these films I'm reviewing I've seen a while ago because I haven't had too much time lately to watch movies. This is an American horror film made in 2009, directed by Tom Six, and it's called The Human Centipede, The First Sequence. Uh, this is the first of a... I think there's another one coming out a bit later, but anyway. starts off with two uh, stupid women. They're American women in Germany. Uh, they're arguing, they're, they're traveling across to this party through their car, and they break down. And so they're stuck in the middle of nowhere, and they decide to go through the woods to find help. Now, I don't know what they're expecting to find through the woods, but they start arguing with each other, and they start to become really annoying quickly. But anyway, fortunately for them, what well, actually you could say unfortunately, they come across this house in the middle of nowhere. It's a really nice looking house. And so they knock on the door, and this really, really creepy, weird German guy, exaggerated character, but he's really, really weird. Um, he answers the door, and they ask if they can use the phone, you know, they can get help. And so he lets them in. Now, if a guy like this answered the door when I was knocking on it, I would never go inside. But anyway, they go inside, he offers them a drink, another mistake. He actually drugs this drink and they end up falling to sleep and waking up in a hospital bed which are inside this guy's house and next to him they see this um, truck driver who's also been kidnapped but um, yeah so uh, he the truck driver ends up being killed and he gets rid of him and then in comes this Japanese guy who's really really annoying just shouts all the all movies just shouts out it starts getting annoying but anyway, so there's three of them, and this mad uh, German guy comes into the room with a um, overhead projector, and he's giving them a lesson in what he is planning to do with these three. And what he's planning to do is make a human centipede. He's going to have them all on um, their hands and knees, and the first one, who is the Japanese guy, will be at the front. One of the women, who actually tries to escape, but... Um, gets caught again but as punishment she's the middle one her mouth is sewed to this Japanese guy's ass and uh, the woman the other woman is bringing up the rear of it um, she's at the back with her mouth sewed to her friend's ass so basically the way it works is um, this is a human centipede and when the Japanese guy ne needs to drop a filthy dump it goes through the second woman's mouth and then it goes through her system and through to her friend and then her friend gets rid of it all so that's basically what this mad scientist guy has planned so then the whole film just um, yeah, takes off from there now I'm sorry for all of you guys who like this film but um, this was rubbish um, in my opinion I thought this film lacked in many many areas wasn't a bad idea. The idea itself was pretty sick, but it's just the way it was done. It got really boring really quickly. Um, after they get drugged and this mad scientist bloke tells them what's going on, the whole film, I think it's 30, 40 minutes of the film, is just the, the centipede crawling along while this insane, exaggerated character of the German just constantly humiliates them, treats them like a dog, gets them to fetch the newspaper, and yeah, it just loses its disturbing factor pretty quick. To start with, it was really disturbing. I was thinking, oh, God. Oh, that was just really gross. But then it gets boring, and you start to count, do uh, count down to see how much time is left in the film, and that's never a good sign. I think that this film tried to be too good, um, too fancy. It went out there to be too shocking, but then they realized halfway through that they didn't have much depth, and therefore they dragged out this um, centipede sequence. Uh, yeah, I mean, the acting was pretty ordinary. The two women were really unlikable. They were annoying. And the German doctor, I didn't like that guy. He was exaggerated. He was the mad scientist. He had the evil laugh and everything going, and I just didn't, I didn't care for that. The Japanese guy kept on screaming, uh, not screaming, but yelling the whole time yelling out these insults in Japanese and that just got really boring.
really annoying and boring. And that just, the, the decisions at the end of this film by the characters were very, very silly. I, I know that a lot of horror films out there, the characters have to make these silly decisions, otherwise you're not going to have much of a horror film. But these decisions, these were near the end, so it didn't really matter if you know they took the right decision and ended up getting away. Well, not getting away, but defeating this evil German. But no, they just took really, really stupid options, and that really killed it for me as well. So yeah, I'm, I, there's not a lot to like about this film. The idea itself is sick and it's pretty good. If done right, then it could have been a pretty good movie. But I felt that Tom Six tried to be a little bit too fancy for his own good. Tried to be too shocking where it just come off as a bit boring to me. So it's definitely not coming recommended. Um, sorry for all you guys who liked it, but no, it just didn't work for me. There's a sequel coming out. I think this is going to have a 12-man centipede. So, yeah, I, I don't know what that's going to turn out like. I probably won't even bother with it. But anyway, that's my review of The Human Centipede. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.